Welcome back everyone. In the last episode we received a new uh, quest from a Daedra princess, I would say. Uh, we still have to check for Lady Asura's quest. It's 10 days. Uh, that's a little bit uh, hectic, but I think we can go and do that. Travel there. Uh, and we should still be okay with the timing on going for uh, Morgia's quest. So. It's three in the morning and we could probably do a little uh, stealing run before we uh, head on. We could also check if... Um, if we can reach it faster with recklessly, yes, okay. So we're not gonna use skills, we'll just use our open spell. Which is not working on this one, I guess. Oh, it is. It is? Oh yeah, we are level 7. Completely forgot about that. Um, let's steal the important stuff, right? So uh, I'm pretty sure I checked in the last uh, the last time how much money we have left. I think it le it's not that much. Yeah, sixteen thousand. So it cost us quite a bit. Yeah. That summoning was pretty uh, expensive. I think it costed more than the one hundred fifty that we had, that we planned for. So it's a good thing then that, that we can grab all those items <clears throat> and continue. We need we need those items anyway, like I mentioned, because we have to um, create more items for for me for, for the character. For the time being, we are okay-ish. Uh, I think we can. I think we can uh, do the quest for her. Depends how big the the, the dungeon is, though. It could be that this is a uh, because it's a, a quest from a Detro Prince that the dungeon is not smaller from the mod. But uh, I guess we'll find out. Okay, we can't open that one. Um, good. Let's put in the stuff in the in the wagon. Okay. Oh, King of Worms. Oh, oh, that's the letter that we have to give to him. I agree to your terms. I will give you my. My first, and you will exert your influence on the king of first world on Somerset Isle. Only you can let him speak with his dead son. For that, he would even marry Nolfalga. So that's the deal. She's giving up her first child? Wow. Okay, anyway. We're gonna move with uh, reckless mode. Recklessly, it costs us nothing. All right, then. There's the entrance. That looks familiar. That looks familiar. Um, okay. First, we're gonna put an anchor. Oh! That's a greeting. Hello. Damn. Okay. You got it.
Oh, we got a skeleton there. When he turned around, maybe he's fighting something. Or not. Roar! Okay, that one died pretty quick. Okay, we got a dungeon with skeletons then. We are level 7 now, so it should be a little bit easier to kill them than in, the, in Private Assault. There we go. So we have to look for a, a healer, so I guess that's a mage looking... Uh, ...character. I probably should have made a uh, poison evasion uh, or curing item. We would still have enough uh, money for that, I think. But, yeah. Okay. I guess there is an enemy around that area that we didn't see. Oh, was there an... I guess we will uh, find that one sooner or later. So this area is clear then. Uh, let's go here, I guess, uh, because that guy already opened the door. Oh, another one. Oh, okay. We got poisoned. Uh, wonk. Okay. We should be fine though now. Yeah, yeah. We healed ourselves. Uh, yeah, I think we're, we're still good for one more fight. Okay, that's a skeleton. Okay, it didn't hit us. That's good. So, if I'm correct, then... This does... this... Does, no does nothing. And there is a the, the big open area from like the Dedra Heart. Okay. Uh, the big area again. Maybe that's even the healer. Let's see. It could be, but must not be. Okay, it was a sorcerer. All right. I mean, I have to check because if those uh, uh, small dungeons always look the same like this, uh, I think we had that one already. I mean, that kind of layout. Then it's not really fun. So we can test if the sound is working. Yeah, there we go. So it shows us that there is a secret door. Okay, so the last time... The boss was uh, up there. Yeah. And I'm just gonna check if it's really there again, but... Oh, okay. Was working before. Come on, you can do it. Yeah. There we go. 
Let's check that room. If she's there or not. Hello, Im. But, uh, yeah. I mean, the chances are not that high, but they are there. Oh, that's an orc shaman. Wow, and he does a lot of damage. Damn it. Okay. That's not really nice. But we, we have an item to heal us, right? Uh... Oh, I thought I had an item that heals us. Oh, I didn't buy it, right? Because I wanted to create it. Uh, Might have to jump down. But an orc shaman is pretty tough. Yeah, we, we have to let him come because he's... he's he can fire... Uh, he can fire fire. <laughs> gonna sleep if I survive that, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to sleep now because uh, that guy is a bit too strong. Oh my god, that's a Dedra. That can kill us. I mean, she can't uh, paralyze us, but wow. Dedra seduced already. Wow. Maybe the mods are changing something also with the uh, with the enemies that we get because a dead reducer is something I'm not used to face that early. So the boss was not here. There a door that I didn't see? Okay, that's downstairs. Okay. Another orc shaman, really? Oh, that was a lucky hit. That was definitely a lucky hit. Okay. Oh. Those dungeons are tough. So the last time the boss was inside there. Okay, someone is fighting there, so it it could be that the boss is really there, or the, the, the healer. Someone wants to get out. Uh, one of them could be the healer. Could be. Must not be. Okay. Yeah! We got her! Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We got it. So we are again on a very tight uh, schedule. So I'm not gonna force my luck too much. Um, if we are getting in trouble, then I will just pour it out. I don't want to rest uh, if I don't have to, but we can check. Okay, we got nine days left. To finish a Suros quest. Uh, which should be fine. I have to check the calendar because we need seven days to get to the other uh, area and seven days back. We can finish it in one day. That That's not a problem. So we need 14 days. Uh, and I think we have to be back at least at the 11th of the next month. So uh, it should still work even if we uh, move to the other area. Uh, he's casting fireballs. That's why I'm. So I'm losing so much health. And there is probably someone coming. 
because I know that there is a a hidden room there. Like right there. And I already get the sound. Okay, there we go. So yeah, the setup was the same for this dungeon. And I'll just wait if there is another uh, dungeon like this coming up, because if it is on those random quests, then yeah, we might have to um, deactivate the mod for the smaller uh, stuff, because if we always get the same, then it's pretty boring because I know where the enemies are, or the bosses are in that case. But it could also be that the, the monsters are so strong because it's a, a Dedrick Princess uh, quest and the quests are normally harder, so... I'm just checking on my other monitor if the, if the lighting is really okay now, but it seems okay. It's dark, but it's uh, as dark as it is for me. I think that's an M2. Oh, oh, okay. The sorcerers are really tough. Uh, I have to check uh, how my how many spell points I have. 101 so we can cast one more healing I guess before uh, we don't have enough to port out oh there must be a door there okay that's that one okay okay there should be Okay, it's not a double, double door. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was a reflex. Bonk. So, how is our... Okay, 90, 94. Oh, because our, our uh, healing costs less now. That's why. Good, good, good. Oh, Orc Shaman. Okay, never mind. Uh, we're gonna pour it out. Not gonna risk it. Okay. I would have stayed, but not with the time limit that we are currently facing. So we have to go... to... East Warg. You know what? I have an idea. Let's see how far Eastwork is. Because I've, I've, uh, I remember that we have an option to skip some days because we can just port with teleport. So Eastwork is not far away. We can do it with a reckless run. Finish Asura's quest. We have been here, it seems. Okay. Alright. I think we can either wait... ...or use Levitate, I guess. So, well, where do we have to go? Golden Gerton. I guess we can loiter one hour. And the door is open, right? Okay. Uh, why is... 
The icon is gone. <laughs> For the horse. Uh... Okay. Maybe I sold one horse that was assigned to it. Uh, but now we can talk to people and maybe even check out uh, the area. Well, not the book room. Okay, there we go. Hello. Please tell me where... Or am I at the wrong location again? East Wark, and I'm pretty sure I'm not in East Wark, am I? East, East Wark. No, I'm in East... I'm in East Wark. Of East Wark. Gone, then Geerton. Ah! Okay, it's there. Sneaky hidden. You have to tell me have to talk to tell me about. Oh come on. I'm on a schedule. Tell me about. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. The person is probably in an inn or something. Oh, no, it's a, it's a it was a the slave monk who lives in desert and meet her contact going in of East Wark. Yeah, East Walk. We are in East Walk. Oh, come on. Probably in a shop or something. Need to talk to a woman, a blonde woman. They normally are friendly. Oh, there is one. Please tell me where that person is. Ah, oh, come on. I'll probably find the residence uh, faster if I just move around. And look at the doors. They're normally, it could be that they are in a bookstore. Not in a bookstore. Oh, there it is. I remembered that one <laughs> from an earlier play, that they are sometimes in the in the libraries and stuff. Oh, Ambrosia Nightingale, have you been here long? I'm sorry, I was just daydreaming about my mistress, the Lady Asura. That candle reminded me of the scintillation of her eyes, you see. How silly of me. Well, here's Asura's star. She doesn't give this to just anyone, but don't let it go to your bean. She was mine first. Yay! So if you carry that, I mean, it should be listed as info. Item powers. One target, save versus magic. Few mortals have the stomach to trade in souls. The Dark Brother does it, as do certain groups within the Mage's Guild. For these cruel folk, Asura Star has a particular fascination. The star acts as a reusable, reusable soul gem. The soul of any creature killed by the bearer of the star is trapped within it. If the star already carries a soul, nothing happens. Using Asura Star empties it 
bring the trapped soul to make its journey to oblivion. A sewer star can be used to make magical items over and over and over. So, what does that mean? Uh, it means that um, if you carry a sewer star as a necklace, I think it counts as necklace or ring, I, I can't remember. Then every time you kill, a, or the first time you kill a monster, that monster's soul is trapped. It's, it's like a soul trap spell. And you can't, uh, and the, the item is then, uh, let's say, uh, uh, closed for other souls. But you can use the item and release the soul, and then it's empty again. I won't do that. I will just carry it in my inventory, and when you use the soul trap skill yourself, then it goes into that uh, uh, soul stone. And it has priority one, so if you have uh, more soul stones, the first soul goes into that one. And if you have other soul stones, like, like the diamond looking soul stones, uh, then they get filled up with that. But the first soul always goes into a sewer star, as far as I know, so it has like the highest pri priority but there is a trick that you can do uh, you can uh, uh, use soul the soul traps skill on the monster so that it has the skill on it and then you can drop the, the Asura star on the ground during the fight or before it whatever is uh, possible then you kill the monster the monster gets sucked in into the soul stone that you have in the inventory, and then you just can pick up the Azura Star again. So, uh, if you if you are in a dungeon and you are hunting a specific monster, for example, that you want to trap, uh, it's maybe uh, you can trap other monsters too. Uh, but if you want to have uh, the strong monster in that one, then yeah, you can just drop it and and uh, soul trap another monster. That's what I wanted to say. So. Um, how long does it take to go to uh, Wayrest? Three days, okay. So that's uh, that will be my plan. Uh, but I'm gonna save it just in case we it, it doesn't work that way, but it should work that way. So we are going to back to Wayrest. Because we have no uh, quests open except for... Yeah. So we go back to Wayrest. We can even do a cautious one, so we can, um, yeah, we can even do it cautiously, so we'd level up some skills that way. Uh, sure. Okay, that's actually pretty close to uh, the palace. So we put in an, an anchor here. And I know the way in Scooch Barrow, so I don't have to save. Uh, and I can also show you what, what, the, what the ladder means with if you go to the rift, you've gone too far. So uh, let's gonna save again. Actually, that was a bad idea, because now I saved. <laughs> So we go to the Dragon Tail Mountains. We can go recklessly again. Seven days, okay. So if we look at the calendar, it's Turtles the third. So we got, we even got the seven days because we have to be back at the eleventh or so. So we are still fine, even if if the teleport doesn't work, we are still fine. We'll be back on the tenth or eleventh. So. Uh, that's not the right one, but that's the right one. Uh, the thing is, we have to uh, levitate here. Otherwise, it will be a hard, uh, hard hitting uh, experience. So let's do a levitate. Whoops, go up there. And we'll probably be greeted by some heavy hitters. Probably zombies, yeah. And they are really heavy hitters, so 
If we go up with the levitate skill, we can still flee if it gets too too troublesome. But we got a good sword now, so uh, the damage should be fine if they don't hit us too often. That is. I mean, they are way more different, uh, difficult uh, enemies there. And the thing is, you have to take the first door on the on the left. This is also a, a big dungeon, I think. Uh, that's a main quest dungeon, so I don't think it's affected. And then you have to go this way. There should be some bats. Yeah, yeah. I remember that one. Okay. Lots of bats. Okay, come down. So, um... I think it's... Yeah. If you enter there, then that's where, uh, where we have to go. And what the... Uh, the letter mentioned is if you're not going this way, if you're going this way <laughs> ah, I'm just gonna save, I don't know what's, what's up there so if you're going this way and open the door here then, oh, okay That's what she meant in the in the uh, in the in the in the letter. If you see the rift, then you have gone too far, and that means that you have taken the wrong way and you went too far. At least that's how I interpret it. So you're going back. You go down here. You go down there. I think it's, I think the rift is even here, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> that could be a problem. That's what I get for showing stuff. Never mind. I thought it would be the rift there. Or the, the bottom of the rift. But it's not. Okay, so no, it should be here, yeah. Now let's try uh, lockpick. Okay, now it worked. So if you go into stealing mode, then it works. So this is where. Uh, hello. This is where we have to go to deliver the letter. And the, f the interesting thing is, those are one of the highest level monsters that you can... One of those, not one of those. So this is a, an ancient leech. This is an ancient vampire, I think, even. Yeah, ancient vampire. And another ancient leech over there. They are not aggressive. But once you attack them, they will attack you. And once you attack one of them, all three will attack you. So... Uh, when you are strong or when when I am stronger, I can come back here and just uh, harvest their souls for um, the soul trap. But I'm I still need more crafted items for that because I need spare reflection and whatnot. So here's Money Marco, the king of worms. Very good. If you are not rewarded with death by the loyal servants of the Barrow, give this note to Princess Morgia, please. We can read that because it didn't say that I am not allowed to read it. Princess, done. Okay. <laughs> that, was, that was a quick answer. So, now we can test that. Uh, there is nothing else yet. 
that we can talk to with him. And I'm not gonna try and attack them because they, they will kill me. Because if the if a little zombie nearly kills me and the spell sword nearly kill me, then I'm not gonna I'm not even gonna try that. So we're gonna teleport. And we should be in rest. And behold! We are in rest, and we saved uh, 7 days reckless riding and uh, 14 days uh, cautious riding, traveling. And we are still there, we still got time, so we're gonna move over there and deliver the answer. And then we can decide what we uh, want to do. Uh, so the other summoning that I want to do is really one year partner because it's in the um, previous month at the start. But till then we can pretty much do whatever we want. It's done. I will be queen of first hold, although I'm sure the engagement will be quite lengthy. Now, I promised you information about the Emperor's letter. The letter you seek is in the hands of Godwalk, the warlord of the orcs. He bought it from the Thief Guild of Daggerfall after one of their numbers stole it from the Queen Aupki. I confess I don't know why the Emperor sent it to Orkby. I don't know how she's really pronounced. The girl is innocent to a fault, and everyone knows that uh, Gottfried is not the loyal Empire toady that Lysandus was. Of course, my own family. Well, enough of this boring court gossip. If you really want to find this letter, you should get in good with Minisera, the former Queen of Daggerfall and Queen Mother to Gothrid. I wouldn't directly approach her. Start with Summon of Lower Station. So we got two uh, interesting informations. The first one is that the letter is in the hands of Godwalk, so we could go directly to Godwalk if you would know where he is. I mean, I know where he is, but if you don't know it, then yeah, you probably have to ask people and they maybe s talk to you. Uh, maybe even the Seed Guild would know it. Uh, but the way uh, I will do it is we will... Uh, do some quests for other people to get in contact with Minisera. There's also a little bug with her, uh, but you will see that. And we get a ring, okay. So, currently that should be it for the moment. Uh, we could go to Castle Sentinel. Uh, that's for the main quest. Okay, that's the one that we just did, so that letter stays there. Uh, we could talk to uh, those two. I'm pretty sure she will give us a quest now. Which uh, we could do, uh, because I'm, we can do a shortcut for that quest. You can only do the shortcut if you have done the... If you have played uh, Daggerfall before. Uh, otherwise, you wouldn't know uh, how to do the shortcut. So I'm pretty sure she will give us that quest. Never mind, she doesn't. Okay. Uh, maybe, maybe we'll trigger it uh, someday later. Uh, if we get a quest from her, it's just a basic quest now, I think. Might have to turn the volume down a little bit for that one. I think he doesn't give us a quest. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the other ones could give us quests. The question is, though, what do we want to do? Because we are completely free now. Uh, what we want to do. Uh, we could do quests for uh, the Rose, which would mean that we have to go in random dungeons and kill uh, night blades um, to be honest I rather yeah I would rather get more money and, and upgrade my gear before I go into more dungeons so um, 
I think we'll go on a, a stealing spree and maybe take one or two quests from the other nobles here. Uh, that should be easy, I guess. If we get some, that is. Uh, yeah, okay. What? Did, as a member of the Major's Guild, I'm yours to command, ma'am. Okay, she's a member of the Major's Guild. Um, I don't think we can go into... Oh, we, oh yeah. Only castles of a trusted guest. Okay. okay, he has a quest. The whining peasants who work my land near the tomb of Darklet have long complained about evil wizardry being practiced in the dungeon. Uh, it appears that this time they may be right. I am in need of an assassin with an enough time to travel to the tomb of Darklet and destroy the necromantic sorcerer there. So we got a sorcerer there. I'm prepared to pay 600 gold. That's quite high. Are you interested? Yes. 20 days, okay. By the Dark Lord, that's grand. I need to have this wizard extinguished in 20 days, so you will probably want to get to the road right away. Good luck, Ambrosia, and show no mercy. Yeah. How about you? Do you have a quest? No. Uh, last time we got a quest from that guy. Okay. We could ask maybe her. So keen to talk to, to her because she's a little bitch. Okay. Right on. So we don't have any quest except for that one. Uh, so uh, it's 12. Uh, I don't want to sell stuff, but what I can do is. We could get the quest from the Knights of the Rose. Uh, because 20 days is quite a lot of time. In that time we should be able to gather uh, the resources that we need. Uh, might as well go to Catleth because we know that the prices are cheaper there. And there's also uh, RK there. I don't think that we will level. Oh, we did. For meritorious service and answering loyalty to the ideals of the Knights of the Rose, you have been awarded the title of Gallant within the Order. As a symbol of our fellow Knights' estimation, we have elected to present you with a new piece of armor. Congratulations. So, what's our rank actually? 26, okay. So let's see what armor we get. Uh, it's not really... Oh, it's silver, yeah. Uh, I think the boots are worth uh, the most. So... The bad thing about jumping ranks in this guild is uh, you're not getting uh, the armor pieces for all the ranks that you skipped, as far as I know. So you only get the, the armor piece for the rank that you currently have. Which isn't really a problem because uh, the early ones are just iron and steel and the later ones are mithril. So I think if we get the, the next rank, we're next one or two ranks, we'll probably get a mithril uh, armor, which is pretty good. Um, oh, I forgot to take a quest. Yeah, it's basically the same thing. Uh, it's always going to be in a dungeon. So we're gonna take retribution again because it's a little bit easier because uh, otherwise this would be orcs, I think. At least that one. And that one is a... Uh, I don't know what that one is, but we're gonna take retribution again. I hope we get some... Yeah, 14 days is cool. 14 days is good. Um, thinking of training Longblade to 46 then? Like a 5 day thing. 
Uh, it depends what we get. Uh, I'm, I'm rather... Well, uh, let me check the, the stores. If there's something good in there. But we could just go to Catledge uh, or the other bigger city and rob the general stores. Because they have uh, armor uh, or weapons too. Dwarven armor, okay. Uh, I mean, dwarven items. Let's see, I think that one was... Uh, okay, that's not good. Maybe the other one had better prices. There's nothing here. Nothing here. I think that's the one that has good... Uh, fifty percent. Ah, oh, it's the same. Okay, never mind. I just want to get rid of it. So yeah, I think the best way would be to go to Catledge. Um, yeah, that's fine. And we're gonna grab the. I don't want to have it player controlled. Ah, oh, there we go. Maybe I misclicked and then uh, the mod takes over and wants to run straight through that you can watch, basically. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, we got some skill level ups, probably from the dungeon. Too bad it's 10. But uh, what can you do? At least we can check the pawn shops. Or a pawn broker, whatever. see the prices. Uh, I know that uh, the little store has the best prices, but we can't sell the, those items to him. Okay, 1.5 is bad. We can keep those if we want. Alright, then... I think we can enter all of them, so... There's no fighter's guild here. Uh, let's train mysticism if we still can. No, uh, 15 more, so we can't. We are at uh, 50. Now we are at 45 if we if we remove it. Yeah, so we should still be able to train. The guild is not open yet, I think. Yeah, so we can loiter. Okay. Maybe there are some magic items that we can use. Oh, and we wanted to craft. I forgot about that. We wanted to craft. Sometimes you, you there's even a chance that you get the, the biggest monster in a soul trap there, but it costs like 800,000 or something. So it's not really <laughs> affordable. But you could get it uh, before the, the monster even uh, spawns in the game because of the level. So that's also a little information. Uh, yeah, Let's have a look how much money we have. So we have 16,000, uh, roughly 20, roughly 20,000. And I'm pretty sure we have nothing in the wagon, yeah. I have to check 
if uh, if that's enough. I think it's not. But We'll see. Uh, I'm making it on a wand because I don't need uh, need to carry it. What I want to do is cast when used, uh, heal, and cast when used, uh, shield. Okay. It's I have to check how how it goes because maybe I have to change out uh, an item. And cast when used uh, stamina. One five thirty. Uh, okay, let me. Uh, that's one eight, but I think. That one is like one five. It's either a bracelet or a bracer. And I haven't checked the price. I think it's way too high for for us currently. Yeah, it's the bracer. Yeah, okay. Cast when you use heal. Oh, um, it may be, be enough. Shield. Cast when you use stamina. Stamina is a cheap spell, so I hope it... Yeah, it works. Okay. Uh, let's do... Oops, my bad. Ambrosia's bracelet of... of healing? Yep, yep. Well, let's do it like Ambrosia's healing bracelet. So now we can heal uh, inside a dungeon. Uh, the question is, do we want to heal or do we want to have uh, something else? Wait, let me see. Yeah, I thought as much. Uh, Why can't I cast Cure Disease? Isn't by... I have to check the, the quest log. I, I thought that Bayer's Antidote uh, cures both. Medium level chance of curing cast of Paralysis, Poison and Mundane Diseases. Okay, yeah. Bayer's Antidote is the right... is the one that I want to have costs 9,000 so this has more priority I would say uh, and it costs 900 so we can put it there because that's a free one and it doesn't cost me anything so uh, I don't think I can put something in there yet it's, it's way too much and I also don't know if, if repairs object works on items that are not in uh, carried by me, so... Either way... T yeah, just... yeah. We just keep it that way. Um, 930... We could probably even put it on one of our items. But let's let's keep it on that. We don't really I don't really care about that. Except maybe we have a uh, another item that is. No, no. Let's do it that way. Don't want to play around too much. That's why we have the wands anyway. Wand of purification. Purification? Purifies me of... Oh. Of curing poison and disease. Oh! Land of curing poison and disease. Or oh, let's do... Uh, 
wand. Wand. So I can see it right away if I uh, put uh, put it up that it's poison and disease curing. So. Cast when used. Uh, Binus antidote. So that cures everything. And uh, we can enchant that one. So we can now cure ourselves anytime. Uh, the other one cost that uh, it costed like cost when used heal cost when used shield cost when used stamina one five thirty okay. We could also put it there and put the weight limit on there, but it doesn't matter. So we need 5k. Okay. I'm pretty sure we have the 5k uh, in our inventory in the in the wagon. So we just sell it in the in the hook shop, uh, hawk shop, because I remember that one. I wrote it down that that's the cheap one, or cheap, uh, giving us the best prices. Uh, we don't know the level of the lock of the of the uh, houses, so I'll just won't put anchor anymore, since uh, we have the um, the opening spell ready in that item. So uh, let's check our wagon. I'm pretty sure I have something there. Yeah, should be really quick. It's not that many books, uh, and it. Should also carry us over. Oh, that's a nice press. Carry us over to buy the enchantment. I'm just doing that right now so I can do quick uh, dungeon runs. Uh, and after that, we'll probably have to do some more runs. With uh, looting, maybe we can loot enough already, but not sure about that right now. So uh, I think we we leveled already, right? I mean, we we trained, didn't we? My brain is a mush. <laughs> Teleporter, where's the trainer? Hmm. I hate the major skilled layout. That's identifier, that one I know. That's the trainer. Uh, mysticism should still be possible, yes. Good. We got the uh, rat and the dragon, I think, preserved. But we can go here uh, to this one and get a room there because it's closer to the stores we want to loot. So we still got a lot of time. I'm gonna try to do at least one of those quests if possible. But my goal actually is to get that item, the, the other item that I want to have. Three, three, three. Let's sleep here. Uh, we could also do... 
heal us first and then do the uh, open for quest is cheap now that's good and uh, it's also mysticism um guess we could do water uh, breathing take a, take a rest nice good skills and all right we can already start our plundering let's see if we can open up uh, a big percentage everything up to level seven is possible I mean this one we can try with force if we want to night so that the guards will be a bit more lazy we can try and hit it like two three times before anything is happening normally wow all of them are high really okay that one isn't grab that grab that grab that Ooh, a red one Yes, I take that. Oh, yeah. I'm not gonna take any elven stuff anymore. Not worth my time. That one was level 9, that one was level 8, I think. Or level 3, okay. Level 3 is fine. Come on. Sometimes the door is buggy, but it works out. Alright. Don't know if I have one with a thing yet. I think I do, but... Oh, nice! Broadsword, but I think the broadsword is 4 to 15. Yeah, that's that's weaker, but I'll take it. <laughs> um, sooner or later, I will maybe even stop uh, selling the books and just concentrate on the horses and the cards. Because the books take uh, um, are a lot of weight if you have lots of them in the card, and if you want to store uh, money in the cards, then yeah, it's not the best to be full when you don't know where to put your money. So this one has an eight, and one of them has a nine. I mean, I can. I, if the if the hawk shop is uh, easy easy to open, then it's okay. Otherwise, uh, you probably have to knock on the door with the sword. Yeah, we don't have to knock. It's level one. <laughs> ah, we could have tried uh, lock picking on this one. Soon full again on the books. It's time that we really create the other items so I get my other stats up. But the priority currently for me is the shield, I think. Oh shit, I, <laughs> I dropped it on the floor. <laughs> ah, come on. Dim, da -dim, da -dim. So, uh, I'll probably also do a chapter in the video, so uh, if I do a plundering tour, you, you can skip if you want. If I don't forget.
while I edit. Then I'll implement it. I still don't know what's easier to cut the video or just uh, speed it forward. Uh, I like to speed it forward so that you see that I don't cheat or something. Uh, because I can cut any time if I want, right? Uh, but not my style. Do I have that turquoise one? Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, nice! I'd rather have a katana though. That would be sweet. I'm not even gonna take that one anymore because that the, the, the tent is not giving that much uh, money. So we can sell everything uh, at the hook shop once we're done here. And then we're gonna check the. Alright, oh, that was the one. Okay, let's try if we can enter. I'm gonna save real quick. And I hope that the guards are not coming. Oh, we are in at the first try. Good. Cool, cool, cool. books here nothing good else uh, so far yeah okay I'm gonna leave that one book So we are done here. Uh, we could get another quest from the Order of RK because they are open all the time. So we can also take it during the night. It's 1 a.m. I mean, there's also a chance that you encounter burglars and thieves during the night in cities. But not that you are alone here trying to make some money. Okay. That's the one that's good. Uh, so that one, you don't have to fight anything, you just have to deliver have to deliver an item. Sometimes you get a, an enemy that wants to take the item from you, but that's just one, one guy, normally. 14 days, also cool. Uh, blessings upon you, Ambrosia Nightingale. The Order of Arki needs you to run an errand for us. This scarab needs to be delivered to Vanlich Court within 14 days. You will receive a temple fee of 266. Can you do it fast? Yes. Here's the scarab. Take it to Andy Stair Kinghard in the Kingham residence in Van Ledge Court. Oh, I almost forgot to mention a rival temple may send out here. Yeah. The longer you take, I think, the um, the higher the chance that someone is attacking you. Probably if I sleep here now. Because I want to sell the items, uh, it could be that I'm getting attacked while sleeping. Okay, um... Yeah. We have a room here. But we could also go to the hook shop, I guess. Because we're selling the stuff there. And... Uh, where was the cheap store? There was a cheap store also. Uh, I think it was in the other area. Because we can't sell the 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 horses and the carts in a in a 
the pawnbroker shop. Let's level that one and uh, open for quest. That should be mysticism and alteration. Oh, really? Okay. I didn't. Okay. Maybe I did before I joined the guild. Ah, there we go. Oh, there. Yeah. Because we took too long, uh, we're getting uh, attacked by someone that wants to scare up. I hope you got good loot there. No. Oh, okay. Another one. I don't care. Oh, really? Maybe it's a team. They won't let me sleep. Oh. Oh, a mage, too. Spell sword. Come on. Let me sleep. Ah, at least we leveled up. Okay, what do we do? We could do... We could focus on endurance more. Sure. Let's put 6 in there if we are getting only 4 the next time we still get to 80. Who is disturbing my sleep? It's 10 a.m. Okay. We can go out and sell stuff now. It's fine. Okay. Let's go to the hook shop. And then we go to the other village where it was also cheap, I think. Let's see, we got one. Yeah, that's good price. Really good price. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna fast forward again because we have uh, lots of books to sell, so it will be faster and then I'll be back. Okay, so we have sold uh, all the books. Uh, we're gonna give the money. Uh, into our card. It's not that much that the, the, the money that we really uh, need to get is the one from... We have to go to Vanlich Court anyway, so uh, as far as I know. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's do that right away, so we can finish that quest even. Uh, yeah, we can go cautiously, I guess. We'll probably be greeted with attackers. Uh, no. Okay. Vanlich. Ports, uh. All right, of course, it's like up there. So let's check the ch the shops while we're passing. Uh, it's seven thirteen, so the general stores ha are opened. We can check the prices if someone pays us uh, a lot of money. And we're just gonna stay there and settle right away. Okay. I 
Let's see. We need at least 2-5. 2-2 uh, two, two is not enough. Because I know we get 2-5 to 2-6 two, or even more. Uh, because our uh, mercantile skill is uh, getting higher and higher. So. Yeah, that's, that's not gonna do it. <laughs> it's even less. But it looks like a big city, and if we're lucky, we even get a uh, big uh, store for uh, weapons. So... Uh, okay, we can mark that one down. That's a good trader here. Not so much. So the Emperor's Wares is the one that we can, uh, well, you know. Uh, let's do an anchor here. Oops. So I can port right away if we don't find anything else that uh, uh, gives us more money. We can just port back here and uh, finish our dealings. Broker, oh, let's go in then. It's not open yet. Ooh, that's a good one. Gonna hold off on uh, on books for the moment. I'm just gonna have a quick look. I mean, we could also just focus on general stores in Catledge uh, and just uh, rob them all the time for the, the horses. Uh, in total, it gives us a little bit more money, I would say, for the effort of not uh, moving around in our backpack as much. There's always one or two stores, I think, that are a little bit cheaper and I guess it's uh, reputation-wise. I don't know how it works, uh, I won't, I'm really honest about that, but uh, something about that person's reputation with you is, is a factor and uh, I'm not sure if you can read out the... Uh, the reputation somehow. Maybe with the information button. Oh, Sapphire. Oh. A ruby? Sure, why not? Adamantum! Wow. That's a rare one. We can't uh, wear it though. Because of our restriction, but... Uh it's it's a higher level higher level item uh, and also the katana so that uh, fetches a nice price uh, guess I missed some shopster oh that's probably the bank nice we need to we need to go to the bank also once we're done Let's go up there. Do you have a big weapon shop? I don't think we do. No, we don't. Okay. We can still find good items, but... I only, th I think they only fetch like 500 gold, so it's not really that we get rich from that. Iron. 
Yeah, that, that was a lame one. Normally I don't really steal from them, but... We got those, right? Yes. Okay. We don't need those anymore then. We got a red one, currently. Yeah, okay, let's take the purple one. Maybe a backup black. You never know. Never mind. Uh, general store. Give me a good price, man. Uh, horse. Okay, that's the worst so far. There should be another one. The little ones tend to be cheap, uh, to be more favorable for us, but not all the time. This one is okay-ish, but not... Uh, the level that uh, we already saw. Uh, there's also a chance that we maybe get a diamond, so let's head in. That's a missing one uh, that I still need, a diamond. Um, okay, just in case we need that. Uh, yeah, we got enough of those. Diamond. Never mind. So. Uh, it's eight ten, so the bank is open now. If we uh, can sell most of our stuff. Oh, we will sell most of our stuff, but... Okay. Nope. Nope. Uh, okay, maybe take a bracelet. We got a sapphire, so uh, sapphire is also good. It's the second best, so... But... Uh, Diamond, uh, I need at least one diamond, I would say. And you can't use a diamond for Soul Trap, it's uh, the only. Uh, it looks like a diamond if you buy it from a Mage Guild, but it's not a diamond, so. It only looks that way. Ah, I, think, I think the diamonds are also level based, so. Maybe we encounter them later. The stores are good though in this city. I mean the from the other jewelry shop. Okay. Oh that's interesting. It's not really a shop, right? Huh. A lot of jewelry, jewelry shops here. Nope. Nope. I mean, it could also be that I'm completely off here and only the pawnbrokers have the... Ah! She has a ruby, so they, they can carry diamonds then. Okay. Mm, we cleared that area. So let's go to the to the residence because it's uh, close by. Before we get attacked another time. Ah, there it is. Okay. Where are you hiding? Upstairs? No. 
here. Yeah, that guy. Eckert doesn't favor on you. This scarab is totally needed here. I understand that you are taking a temple view. So that quest is already done now. So uh, we can focus and stay here for the time being and sell our stuff. Uh, let's check out the stores real quick before we port back to the general store. I guess that's also not active. No. Maybe that's why it doesn't have a label. It, it seems to be a bug. Those where there is no uh, label in front of the store seem to be empty. Very bad. That's the worst yet. <laughs> We got one, two, three, four. Still. Yeah. Uh, it's a little bit tedious to do that, but once you have it all discovered and, and checked out. I mean, it's an integral part of my playstyle uh, to get the money, so I always have to check the shops. But in a few levels it will be easier because then there will be the, the high level stuff coming. So like I said, uh, once we have sold everything we should have enough uh, money to uh, craft a healing item as well as the attribute uh, amulet I think I want to make yeah oh ne I nearly took it away I just wanted to look here yeah it's it's okay but not as high as we already have The early game bookstores are also cool if, if you can break into them because the books fetch uh, good money. Yes, we already know. Okay. Never mind. So we are good now. We know all the, the shops. And it's also nine, which means we could sell <coughs> at the pawnbroker. At least the armor parts that we have. And I think we have some. Uh, or do we? Oh, we actually don't. Okay, then never mind. Uh, because I'm lazy. Okay. That should be really quick, I guess. So oh, that's a uh, good money. Uh, sell for eight. That's a good price. It's a thousand. Yeah. So I was pretty close with uh, with my five hundred. So uh, if it's not a, an armor, I maybe skip already on the <coughs> um, on the dwarven stuff. This is the main, the main thing here. Already getting a lot of credits, I don't care, I just want to sell it real quick, because we're going to the bank next. And we will uh, remove all of our deposits anyway. A 
that's a good price. Uh, we're not getting the store price yet, but uh, that will happen, I guess, sooner or later. Forgot that I had that many. else that we can sell him? No, okay. Good, so we're gonna put... Uh, <laughs> gonna remove that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. And we're gonna visit the bank. Uh, where is the bank? Oh, close by. Cool. Let's see how much money we really got now. 66 is not that much, but we still have some money left in our card. At least 40,000 or so, I think. Yeah. Uh, let's get 23,000 and then we can do it in two uh, batches. Let's deposit uh, 20,000. So we got 130. Uh, if we deposit another 2,000, we maybe can get out the, one, the, the 130. Yeah, okay. Good. Now we should be ready to do that. Um, not sure which one is the major skilled. Uh, probably gonna ask. <laughs> major skilled. Come on now. Okay, there it is. Of course, it's in the farthest corner. corner. can train um, mysticism, I guess, while we're here. I'm gonna train first before I forget, and <laughs> then we're gonna craft that item, and then we do another dungeon. Oh, I like that setup. Um, so the trainer is around here, I think. Yeah, that's the trainer. So mysticism. Yes. So uh, did you see that I, I couldn't train the five days anymore because it would go over the 50% and that mod uh, acknowledges that acknowledges that so uh, you can't train the the five day rhythm if you get over 50 percent that's a nice little addition I, I guess otherwise you could level up to 49 do that thing and be a little bit better than you would be oh that the, the horse is gone again um i mean i think the hotkey is still working with the horse but the icon is not there so Okay, now we have to find the magic item dude. I, th I think he's around here. 
Nope. Here? No. Nope. Oh, that's the same area. Okay. <sighs> Maybe he is over there. Oh, there he is. Okay. Uh, we could save that if we want with uh, enchanting. I don't think we have. Uh, enchanting. Okay. Let's do some enchanting. I need the shield. That's an important one. Uh, yeah. And uh, I'm not gonna name it after myself uh, because that's just a. Uh, means to an end so far, till we have the, the best shield there is. But you can guess what it will do. It, aso it absorbs spells. It... Uh, um, let me see what I... Uh, so it reflects spells too. Reflection. Uh, and uh, resist. Uh. Oh, we we can't uh, select resist magicka because we're already immune to magic. Uh, I wanted to uh, use uh, oh spell resistance. You can't do it. That's 44,000. Yeah, we should still be good with that item. So, you see that we have a lot of uh, thing here, but you know, we, we can we can easily change that. And we are already where we, where we want to be. So we, we are now absorbing spells. We are also reflecting spells and we have spell resistance. Uh, which means that spells are not harming us that much. So they are either getting uh, reflected with a certain percentage uh, Because there is nothing else that does that I think Yeah, uh, absorb spells is better than the spell absorption because it's permanent so uh, Cast when use we don't need that Yeah that's what we want to do. So we got the the tower shield of reflect with me, which means that is uh, maybe we can. I don't think it will work. Absorbing, yeah. Or we could we could do ah sorry, we could do shield of absorbing reflection. Mm -hmm. yeah. Shield of Absorbing Reflection. That's a good title. Okay, it costs 44. It's fine. Gonna enchant that one. Great. And now uh, we will make it a little bit better to carry stuff. Uh, so I have to get it out of the wagon. gonna do cast when held uh, we're doing all our skills so let's start with the top that's orc strength for strength uh, then we're gonna do um, uh, charisma well let's charisma is personality then we're gonna do we're not gonna do feet of North Torgo that is speed uh, we do check of traits. I think that that that's working. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's let's put it on. Iron will is willpower. We don't need it. We are already at max. And casting when held doesn't do anything because uh, I don't think it will go over the limit. So check of trade is the luck. Uh, then we do. Uh, 
nimbleness, which is uh, agility. And I think that's. Uh, I think we need one more. Which one is it? Am I stupid? I normally have four, five. Got strength. We got intelligence we don't need. Because that's Iron Will or Wisdom. Then we have... Uh, endurance is the one that we need. Fortitude. That's the one. Fortitude. And then we're gonna do Holy Place again. If I would have the best... Uh, item with uh, soul stones in there I would I could uh, basically ignore everything that there is here and I think I had something else on the yeah mm -hmm. okay that doesn't work mm, I want to put something else on it. That one would have been nice, but I can't put more effects. So we got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. So ten is the maximum, it seems, that we can put on. Uh, I can't remember which one is uh, maybe Chameleon. Chameleon would work. Or we could also do maybe uh, something permanent, you know. Um, shadow form is also nice. If we remove that, it's not enough, yeah. Maybe two. Maybe one more. But I, I, I just want to fill it up so that it's not for, for nothing. Uh, featherweight is nice, but it's not really useful on that item. But if it... Uh... Ah, it's a bit too much. It's a bit too much. Um... We could use it for, for levitation if we want, because I think that would still work. Yeah. But I think Shadow Form is a is a nice uh I think I cast one held. Because when I do Fit of North Torgo, it's too much and I can't put anything up there, but uh Shadow that also doesn't work. Shadow would be working, I think. Shadow form. Uh, we could also put in... I think that's too much too. Yeah, Troll's Blood. Troll's Blood is, is a spell that uh, heals your health. Um, permanent Levitate? I don't know if, if it would work that way, but it's not a good thing to have. Uh, trust me. <laughs> Uh, let's do shadow form. Groups talents. We can put it up, but it's... I don't really want spells that I can cast for uh, special occasions on, on, an, on an active thing, so... Let's do Shadow shadow Form. Yeah. I always thought that... Uh, yeah. Okay. So we do Ambrosia's... Amulet, amulet of attribute. I mean, we have to remember that shadow form is on there, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, I could write it down so that I don't put it on something else, I guess. So. Shadow form on amulet. 
Um, the other one uh, running we can put on uh, maybe the best boots that we get sometime. Running is not really our priority when we have uh, the horse. So Yeah, so we calculated pretty good with the money. And we got it done. Uh, I think we don't have enough. I think we should have enough even for the the, the healing item. Let me see. We got the. We can carry that one. And you will see when I put that on, it probably already changes to not new. Yeah, slightly used. But it should get repaired by those items. And it get re it get re. It gets repaired faster if we are moving uh, cautiously. If we're in a dungeon, it doesn't really uh, heal that that fast. Uh, why do I have that? So uh, yeah, we 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 have the one to open, which is good. Uh, we can equip that one. I might have to. Uh, toggle it again uh, oh never mind I have to yeah okay so we got the shield now too uh, we also got the curing wand so uh, the one that heals us and shields us is the one that we still need to to craft do we have others that I want to craft I don't think so do we have the the antidote one? Yeah, the antidote one is on that one. So we got that one. I also need one that can levitate us, make us invisible and cast water uh, breathing, like a combi item. Uh, well, water, yeah, water breathing. And uh, water walking, actually, the spell doesn't let you walk on water. It just lets you move inside the water, like swimming faster, so. You can levitate and be in the water, so that, that's what I mean. Okay, so let's do the healing one. I think it cost like 90,000 the last time, so... Um, we put it on a bracer, I think. But maybe we can put it also on a... Di on a um, didn't we get a sapphire? Yeah. I think we can put it on a ruby. Let, let's check the ruby. How much the, the ruby is. 1750? I think that's enough. I think it was 1750. So cast when you used heal. Uh, cast when you used uh, shield. And cast when you used stamina. Yeah, one five thirty. I mean, we, we could do. I'm not sure if we can use a, a spell that gives us. I mean, we could do light, probably cast when you use mage light or something. Because if we are getting shielded, I don't really want to have a uh, levitation or something on it. Invisibility also doesn't really work if we're healing during a fight, so... Fireball is a skill that would be targeted, so I want something that, that's uh, on me. Uh, free action we don't need. Light, probably. Rolls blood is too much here. Yeah. And I don't want to use a side effect. Let's see what uh, light costs us, because light is one of the cheapest spells. Uh, I mean, it doesn't matter, we can just... We can just put it on a bracelet and then it works. Doesn't really matter. Uh... I mean, if we want to be sure, we can also check uh, how far it goes up. Is it, if it's on 2300, we could even use an amulet. We got some spare ones. So let's do heal again. 
You can't change it out the item, so if I change it out again, then it will be gone again. We have to do all the all the things again. Oh, that's also 750. Okay. Never mind, then we need a 180. And 180 is... Well, I'm sorry that it takes so long. I'm just... I'm just thinking uh, what's appropriate to put on that I always use during a fight and that's cheap. Uh, oh, we also need that one, but uh, let me see. Um, I actually want to do it on a bracer. Um, Uh, change of plans. Change of plans. I'm uh, gonna put something else on a bracer. Let me check my my list that I have made. Uh, on the bracer. Yeah. Increased weight allowance. Uh, 50%. Then we have strength on armor and repair. And we can also put on a side effect if we want to. But uh, yeah, it doesn't matter because maybe we could rip. I don't think it will work with the uh, feet of Nortico. Yeah, it's too much. Yeah, let's keep it that way. We're gonna repair an object and uh, yeah. We put repair object on it. Uh, and uh, okay, that works, I guess. Utility bracelet, I guess. Bracelet of utility to use all the space. <laughs> bracelet of utility. Yeah. I hope the spelling isn't wrong. Uh, so that increases even our weight allowance. Uh, the 25, you can only have a 50% or a 25% and the highest counts. So even if I put in another one with 25 or another one with 50, it doesn't give us more weight allowance. But strength and armor is pretty good. Uh, and that one is... Uh, I would rather have a soul stone in there. Maybe we'll do it later on, but currently I don't. It's power. Uh, no. uh, we can craft that one. Yeah. So that one will also help us. Because now we should have way more... Uh, yeah, we are at the maximum. 225. So we can carry a lot more now. And the only one that we still need is the one... That we currently can't craft, right? Because we don't have any more money. Got 3,800, we've got like 4k. There's nothing really in there that we can sell for big money. So we will have to wait with the healing. Uh, I think we can live with that. Even though I wanted to do that first, but... Um It's better the setup that we have now. So if we have a little uh, checkup, we are now at the maximum strength. Uh, so we are consider uh, our encumbrance is going up. The the modifier is also going up. So we are superhuman. Agility is nearly at the maximum. Endurance is at the maximum. Personality is at the maximum. Uh, yeah, 
luck we are so low on luck and speed that we maybe even need a, a whole new item for that just to even do more on, on those but the rest is pretty good and we got spell reflection now we, we don't have anything on the sword yet I normally uh, or I plan to have um, uh, paralyze and magical leech on the sword but yeah that also costs like 40 40k or so hello so I think uh, the episode is already pretty far ahead um, let me see if, if there is maybe the evil wizard okay let, let's try retribution I hope it doesn't take too long uh, we still got lots of days left so uh, we can cast our uh, water breathing also you see now uh, on the bar below uh, all the spells that are currently equipped uh, or permanent are there uh, the only thing that I have never found out is how to actually uh, show them Oh, it does. It does show. Okay. So we got Orc Strength, Charisma, Check of Trades. We have to activate the cursor for that. That's that's why I couldn't uh, see it yet. Uh, okay, so that's all. Nimbleness, Fortitude, Spell Reflection. I mean, we got Orc Strength, but I'm pretty sure it, it won't change the, the icon. We, we can try. Because I would really like to have an icon showing that, um, but I'm not sure if that works. What is a nice icon for orc strength? Maybe the paw for strength. An arm like would be would be perfect, but I don't think there is one. Yeah, uh, let's do the the beer claw then. It will of course not activate right away, but we could maybe. Uh, Remove that one. It probably will get destroyed when we do it. So let's do it uh, once we have traveled because then it will be repaired. Okay. Let's go to the Temple of Disperus for the retribution quest. Uh, did we already use all the. Yeah, we used all the mana. So if we go there cautiously, it should be fine. Okay, so let's let's see if the attributes are changing. The uh, at least the orc one. It's uh, on new now. So now the the spells are gone. But if we use it again. Slightly used again. Okay, okay it, it doesn't change the icon, it seems. So, uh, yeah. We have to move over it then. Spell resistance, orc strength. So, the icon is not changing on the spell bar. Sadly. But we know it if we move over the icon with the information button, so. Okay, where is the entrance? I, uh. I moved around with the mouse, so if I did. Oh, I think there it is. Okay, at least it's a new layout. I don't like the sound of that. Let's see what we got here. So this is the quest where we... Yeah, I have to fight the Nightblade. I guess that's the Nightblade that killed the guy, so... Yeah, that's the Nightblade. Uh, maybe I go this way. Could 
be there or over there. But someone is already killing stuff. And someone is knocking at the door, I think. Ah, I think that's an high plate. Yep. So we are done with the quest, I think. <laughs> and you see the damage is now pretty much nothing because we absorb and reflect. That was quick. Because we... Uh, I think that guy just killed everything in this room. <laughs> Well, that's good, so we can uh, explore the dungeon a little bit before we end this episode. And I will also change the, the sound effect for the secret doors, because it was really, really loud. Oh, there! Oh, it's the Orc Shaman, but... The Orc Shaman... Maybe doesn't even... Oops. Doesn't even see us because we're still in shadow form. Okay, never mind. <laughs> but it should be easier now because we will reflect the damage if he attacks us. Oh, nice. So it was the orc that was killing everyone <laughs> and not the spells. The the, uh, the night blade. That was then pretty lucky <laughs> because he. I thought he killed all of them. But so that area is done then here. Uh, let's go to where we started off or wanted to go. Uh, we more relaxed now. <laughs> because we can teleport out anytime now. Okay, that was a waste of, of time. Let's go down there. Oh, Harpy, also a new enemy that we have never faced before, I think. Or maybe we, we had like one one before, at the start of the game maybe, or one of the early dungeons. Let's try to enter with the lock skill. Okay, it worked. We have to, uh, or I have to change the, the interaction mode to stealing and then we can use uh, the lock picking skill. Yeah, you gotta fight. The walker will probably win. Because level wise the work is better. But this way he used up all his, his mana already. And uh, it's not really a problem for us. Ha! Just kill you after you killed that one. Let's, let's go on the same level. So now the orc shaman is no longer a problem, I would say. All the spellcasters are pretty much no problem anymore. Uh, the uh, vampires could still be a problem. And the leeches, because their uh, melee attack also uh, are pretty hard. But yeah, like skeletons and stuff, yeah. They also do some melee damage, but not enough because we are already very high in, in level. So we have lots of hit points. If you compare it to someone that starts with like the, the basic 8 then you can imagine if we are having like 30 all the time then yeah. not going down there I hate the water when, when I played the game the first time when I was young uh, I really also got scared when going into the water because the drayoffs uh, they really got uh, behind you and uh, uh, did some sneak attacks and uh, also the slaughterfish. I hate slaughterfish. Okay. Oh, that's the 
That's the water right already show that there's a room there. Mm -hmm. Still we're not gonna go there, so. We are back in the main level. Did I miss something? No. We can go still this way. It's quite some. Yeah, that was where we killed the boss. So the enemies here, I think, are not as hard as the ones we got from Ashura. I think the, uh, the Deadra hearts are used for some crafting, maybe? But it's not it's not a priority, so at least for me. In this playthrough, so I will be so strong that it won't matter. Yeah. So, okay. Empty room, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe it's already done that whole dungeon. I don't know. It's probably an entrance to. Oh! Dude! Oh, you shocked me. Always those little rooms where they are standing behind the. Oh! That was a heavy hit. Where they stand behind and attack you. Silly orc shaman. Thinking he has a chance against me. Die, die, die. Is he running away from me? Looked like that. Rawr, that's not one. Yeah, long, long blade skill already is working, I would say, with uh, being able to hit a little bit faster now. And harder, of course, because of the strength attribute. I don't think we can open it with the steel mod. Yeah. Let's open up with the spell. There's a harpy there, I can hear it. Come out. Maybe she's stuck in the door. There we go. I helped you. Okay. It's empty. There's a whole new section here and I think there was like a whole section over there, was there? Yeah, there are still ways... Uh, there's still a way here, I think. Yeah. Might as well go there first. See where it leads? Oh, there's a harpy. Okay. It's good that we went there. Because I don't want to go down there. So there's a whole new area up there that we still have to go to. Yeah. That could also be a single room without anything in there. Huh? Okay. okay, two harpies. Yeah. 
recipe. Resist frost, we don't need that. Joel's blood. Okay. So we still can go there. The one's coming from there, so... I was prepared this time. I mean, I still hear the sound, so... Maybe I hear the sounds because they are uh, down there. And I'll just move over there because uh, I think we're done here. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna pour out. And... Uh, then we can return to the temple, and that will be the end of this episode. So, Knights of the Rose in Wayrest, so I have to go to Wayrest. Pretty sure we still got enough time to uh, do the other quest. We got 15 days left, so we can do even a cautious approach. rest Ah, oh, lots of skills We're gonna level up soon, I guess, again So we have to go to the Knights of the Rose It's nine o'clock, so there's Nothing that we could steal thinking what we should do in the next episode. Uh, we could take a trip to Sentinel. We could also try and, and see if the... Ah. If we get something important, we get a letter anyway. So uh, We could go to... either back to Daggerfall for a longer trip. I mean, Sentinel would be long too. Or for the main quest. And I think we have to rest for two hours here now. Yeah. No. I mean, we have still one quest left, of course, uh, but after that one, uh, we can maybe go to Sentinel or or somewhere. Uh, because we, we are good now with, with items for the moment. Uh, I don't really want to do another episode where I'll do stealing all the time. I mean, I will do steal if I enter a town and it's like nighttime, then of course I will go uh, on a stealing spree, but... We could probably check what... yeah. I mean, we have to take all the retribution quests every time, so I, I try to not take them. Uh, we could actually do the the princess one because now we can face a vampire or a leech or whatever uh, the wars visit the order to such a degree that important duties such as protecting the virtue of the noble women of Wayrest has fallen right up by the wayside there's literally no one available to rescue princess Eliana Wickford who was carried off the other day are you free to this most worthy quest yes you will. I must say your heart is brave. A vampire is a fearsome foe. Be certain to prepare for a battle. Do not be foolhardy. We care only for the rescue of the princess. So I don't have to fight the vampire. Normally the vampire is in the same room as the, the princess. Can be left alone. Leave him. And if you are not returning in 15 days, we will assume that you have failed and someone will, send, will be sent in your place. I'm certain you do not want someone else to earn the honor of the rescue. May Akatosh bless your journey to the stronghold of King Inn. So we got two quests that we can do uh, for the next episode. So thanks for watching. Hope you join me in the next one. And see you there. Have fun and bye bye.